This is the living room. It's kind of weird that the fireplace is in the middle of all that wood paneling. They have like blinds on top of blinds. These are just weird. Oh my God, look at this thing. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, what is it? It's a covered patio. This is absolutely not for me. It looks like a fire hazard. Look at those wires. That is the worst addition ever. You know what? I think they've done a lot of additions here because right when you walk in, it's just, it's boxy and choppy. I mean, look, look at the size of this room right here. It's huge. Look at the size of the bathroom. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. This is a bedroom? This may be an addition. It looks like an addition. It's supposed to be a bedroom. It's a little bit tight. You could barely fit it. <laughs> Don't gain any weight. If you're, if you're even a little bit bigger, you wouldn't be able to use the toilet. A normal size human barely fits. And then this is a bedroom. All right. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know. Wait, what? So that's the kitchen? Through this room? You know what? This house is bigger than 1,700 square feet. I mean, look at the size of the space. It. And then here's the kitchen. I mean, the good thing is the kitchen's huge. Yeah, the kitchen is huge. Really huge. The problem with this house is just closed off. There's no flow. So you have this door here, which doesn't make any sense, and it's like blocking half the kitchen. What do you, what do you think it would cost, Frank, to redo this kitchen? About 10,000 standard, add about another 5,000 to start moving walls around. So right. first, let's see if we're gonna get the house right. and then we can figure that out. Okay, so kitchen, dining room. So this used to be the garage. This could be like a bonus room. I mean, the good thing is all the spaces are big. The problem is if it is bigger than 1,700 square feet and stuff isn't permitted, a lot of stuff's gonna have to be torn down. Look at those down. wires again. Look at that creepy doll in the closet. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, here's a big bathroom. This is nice. What do you think, Frank? We gutted the whole thing. What do you think it would run to redo the bathroom? It looks about five grand. Okay. The second bathroom is down this hall. All right, this is a decent bathroom. Same thing, about 5,000? Yeah. So, two bedrooms. Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go look at the back. Now, this is a problem. Huh. This would definitely have to come down. What would it cost to take this thing down? You're looking about 1,500. Yeah. Hey, there's a garage. Yes. Oh, bonus. There's a garage back here. So, when they converted the original garage into living space, they were forced to build another one. Well, a definitely an interesting house. All right, Frank, so what do you think it would cost to remodel the house as well as doing some structural and stuff like that? Basic standard flip, you're looking at about 65. Okay. Contingent on what we do other than that, you're upwards of about 100. Oh. All right, I'll give you a call later. Let All right, know. let me know. Thank right, you. Buddy. They're asking 440, right? And if we had to spend $100,000, that puts us at 540, we're gonna have 25,000 in closing costs. That's a 565 break even. And since the comps are in the mid 500s, worst case scenario, we should be able to break even or make a little bit of money. If it's not permitted, we're gonna have to tear down the garage, we're gonna have to tear down the back bedrooms, we're gonna have to tear down all kinds of stuff and lose all that square footage. But, I mean, there's a $50,000 swing in the comps based on the size of the house. If the additions are permitted and it's bigger than we think and it costs less than 100,000, we can make a lot of money. That's a lot of ifs. I don't right. Know. Let's call the owner. Let's see what's permitted. It doesn't hurt to ask. All right. Check all. Yeah. House definitely has potential, though. I mean. Hello. Hey, how's it going? This is Tarek. We're here at your property in Garden Grove. My wife and I walked the house. Do you know if there are additions and if those additions are permitted? The house has been that way since I've owned it, but you know, of course, I'm not the first owner. You know, I, I can't guarantee that they are. Do you think it would be possible? to give us about a week to go to the city, pull the permits, all the history on the property to find out what we're working with? To just let you know there's some other interest in the property and you know, I, I can't guarantee that it's still gonna be for sale in a week. Give me one second, okay? Sure. I feel like this one's really risky. It is very risky, but we gamble for a living, so let's go for it. All right, well, if anything, it'll definitely be interesting. So you're asking 440000 for the house? Yeah, that's right. Okay, because of the unknowns with the additions and the permits, uh, we're willing to go as high as 430000 for the house, and we're ready to put the deal together today. Okay, let me think about it, and I'll give you guys a call back. All right, thanks. All 
A few days later, the seller accepted our $430,000 offer. And we found out that almost all of the additions are permitted, making the house almost 2,200 square feet and adding about $40,000 in value. This is gonna be a family room only. Okay. Everything is permitted except the bathroom and the closet. They have to go. Well, we have to completely remove it? Yes. We're still gonna add about $3,000 in cost to get rid of it. These wall units have to go. They are a fire hazard. That means we have to do central AC, heat. That's gonna be like seven or $8,000. Uh, yeah, at least. Wow, that's a big hit. Let's do some demo. What do you wanna work on? What can well, I help we with? We can start in the kitchen. This room is huge now. This is an amazing great room. This house has two full living spaces. I'm actually glad we got rid of the bathroom. It looks a million times better. All right, want to talk kitchen? Yeah. How do you feel about this door? Getting rid of it 100%. This one, if we close it off, I think this should be more private. This can be a dining room, and that could be the more of the open great room. Okay. What about the, the funky window? There's okay. no need for two windows. Well, you should well, have a nice slider there, too. This window? I would take down to a three by three window. It doesn't need to be that huge. Okay. And that window I would close off. Yeah, agreed. So you're looking at about 600. I like that. So let's eliminate the weird bay window, put a new window here on top of the sink, close this door. I think we have a layout. I think it's perfect. This house has an awesome flow. Buyer's gonna love it. Right now, I love this house. I feel like it has a perfect floor plan. The only thing that is missing is a private master bathroom. Right here, this is built in. So let's, let's go take a look. Yeah, that's gonna be gone, but you still have to enter. So, we don't need this. So we close this off, okay? And then the door to the bathroom could go right here. Are we gonna be able to keep the slider now? Seems just awkward. This should be a window. It's not that far. Remember back in the day, he'd run like five miles with me. He's getting older. He's just a big boy. Okay, so I was just thinking about the Garden Grove house. The design's coming along so nicely, but right when you walk in, the fireplace just looks so small. I know, it's kind of weird. You know, I know we have a tight budget, but I feel like we need a focal point. What if we just did like a simple, clean, modern, like 12 by 24 gray tile that kind of looks like concrete going all the way up? I think that would just tie it all together, but it won't be as expensive. Yeah, that'll be nice. Better than having it like this high. If we run it all the way up, it'll be a nice focal point. All right, awesome, so we're all on board. Yes, honey. All right. All right, this tile was the right choice. It looks really good. Okay, so before the fireplace went to like right here, it looks small, insignificant. I think now that we took the tile all the way up, it gives it a really cool like bold design accent wall. Yeah, and I think it's great too, because right when you walk through the front door, you're gonna see the accent wall. Yeah. You like it? I like how we did like the more of the matte finish instead of the shiny. Plus, losing the window and making that one over the sink smaller was a great idea. These lights right here kind of gives it that like cool rustic element. I'm obsessed. It reminds me of like an old bell. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but no, it is kind of a modern kitchen, yeah. right? But it has like that kind of old school feel to it because it has the black and whites yeah. and it has like the bell shaped lights. I think the final touch here that we should do is totally different. Black grout for the backsplash. I think that's gonna look really awesome with the counters. Okay, so you love the kitchen. Yeah. Wait till you see the master bathroom. So, remember we moved all these cabinets so we can create the master bathroom? Right, I can't wait to see it. Wow, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, 
Absolutely impressive. This right? is the best thing by far that we could have ever done to this house. Yeah, the entrance used to be there. This so. is so nice. The master bedroom is humongous. It has his and her closets. It has a huge master bathroom. The shower's amazing. This is like the size of a million dollar home bathroom. We could have done better. So we did pay 430,000 for the house and we ended up putting about $90,000 into it. Yikes. But we added central AC and heating. We created a private master bathroom. So in this situation, I feel like it's okay. So our break even is about $550,000. Um, when we bought the house, we thought it was like 1,700 square feet. It turns out it's 2,200 square feet. So I re-ran the comps, four bedroom, two bath. It's about 2,300 square feet. Just sold for $620,000. That's good. I feel like the market's really hot in Garden Grove. I'm thinking about listing at 674.9. I feel like with that master bedroom, the private bathroom, all the upgrades, it's probably there. Probably. I hope. Oh, okay. Look at that fireplace. Looks really cool. It looks amazing. And now those funky windows are gone. So when you walk in, you can actually see the yard. Kitchen is so nice. Kitchen looks awesome. It's so big and I'm so glad that we went the black grout. We've never done that before and I think it looks really nice. And now that it's done, it looks great. At least we got rid of that weird bathroom. Do you remember what was out this door before? The creepy shed? Bunch of junk. Oh my God, look at this slate. This looks so good. Are you glad we spent the money on this? I'm very glad. Even the landscaping looks good. I mean, this house is, is really clean. I know we went simple on the landscaping, but it looks awesome. There's definitely an area out there where kids can play. You can set up a swing set. You can do something nice. It's a big yard. All right, you ready? Hi. I'm Tarek. I'm Vicky. Nice to see nice. you. This is an awesome house. It's four bedroom, two bath, about 2,200 square feet, listed at 674.9. Um, are you an agent or a buyer, neighbor? No, I'm just, I live in the neighborhood, so I wanted to come by and check it out. So we'd love for you to take a look around and let us know what you think. Oh my gosh, look oh. at the counters. The subway tile is so beautiful. I love the black grout, the way it picks up the countertops and the fixtures on the cabinets. This is a, a gorgeous master bedroom. It's a oh, big yeah. shower. I love how they did the tiling and then the niche in there for like your shampoo and yeah. your soap. And they carried everything from the kitchen so it all matches. They did the accent wall, that darker gray. It's really pretty. Yeah, it makes it pop. Yeah. yeah. It's a really nice size backyard. I like tile. the tile because it's carrying the gray in from indoors to outdoors. Pretty pretty. Looks like a slate. What do you think about the price? Um, well, it's a little high for Garden Grove, <laughs> but it's a really nice house. I don't think there's anything else out there like this. All right, so what do you ladies think? Two thumbs up. Yeah, Amazing. really nice. I can't wait for her to put an offer in so we can have our party here. Oh, I heard offer. Mm, maybe. So positive feedback, all three of you yes. love it. Yeah.